I'm Ashley Forley from Ashley Horse Training. I'm a happy horse, happy life instructor. I'm here today with my young horse, Paris, and we're gonna show you how to teach your horse to stand still or park. She has a really hard time doing that because she's never been trained to do so. So um, teaching your horse to stand still or to park is a great skill to have because you can use it when you're grooming your horse, tacking your horse up, standing around, chatting with your friends, and also you can use it to build relaxation. So if my horse gets worried about something, I can tell her to park or stand still and that will help her relax and come off adrenaline. So let's get started. I'm going to first teach Paris to stand still by putting her in a box. So I've created a box here with these four poles. It's going to give me a visual so I know exactly when she's moving. It will also give her a visual. You could draw a line in the sand, you could use a few cones, or you can just use an imaginary spot. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and put her in the box and then I'll show you what to do to teach her to stand still. Okay, so she's in the box. I'm gonna let the belly of my rope be on the ground. That's one of my cues that she needs to stand ground tied or stand still. And if she moves at all, I'm gonna put her back where she was. This box gives a little bit of leeway, but I'm going to hold her to not moving a foot. She can look around, she can bite the pole, she can do whatever she'd like, but if she moves her feet, I'm just gonna put her back. So right there, I can use my rope, my stick, there, and just put her back. She has a hard time um, standing still because she's very curious, she's young, she's not super patient, but I can use my rhythmic energy there, which I've already taught her in the, from the yield video. Well, this is pretty good. <laughs> and as long as she stands still, I'll leave her alone. If she moves at all, I'm just gonna use my, either my rope, my stick, I'm gonna put her right back where she's supposed to be. If she was at the barn on the tie ring, I would do the same thing. I would have her tied, but if she moves a foot, I'd put her right back. You can also, if you're close to them, you can push um, under the halter to move them back as well. I'm trying it from farther away because I thought that would be harder. She likes to be in my personal space, um, but you can see she's actually doing pretty well. She might go to move here. She's starting to think about the pole. She's gonna chew it and all that's okay as long as she doesn't move her feet. So there, I'm gonna back her up. Oh, that's pretty good. So I think I'm gonna up the ante and I'm going to have one of my friends do something that might distract her. So I'll get one of my friends to flap an umbrella, something off in the distance, and we'll see if she gets distracted and intense and wants to move around. I'll show you how I would use this technique of parking her, teaching her to stand still to promote relaxation. I'm gonna have my friend flap a tarp behind the camera and we'll see if that distracts my horse here. And I'll hopefully be able to show you how I can teach her to stand still even when she's tense. Here we go. So she's looking, she's not moving yet, so that's fine. There, I'm just gonna put her back. Oh, it's pretty good. So we're gonna see how well she stands still now. I have my friend opening and closing some camping chairs. There she goes, she's out of the spot. So I'm gonna put her back in. And again, I don't mind if she looks at it, but I've told her she needs to stand still. And I'm just waiting, I'm relaxed myself. But if she goes to move, I'm ready. Like right there, back her up. Pretty good, she's learning the goal already. Oh, there we go. Put her back, straighten her out here, back to the middle. So I'm not gonna expect her to stand still for 10 minutes yet. I'm gonna start gradually with a few minutes. I think this is pretty good. 
she's had a hard time standing still for grooming and tacking. Oh, there she goes again. I'm going to back her up. So I'm happy with just a minute or two, and especially when she's uh, distracted. I'm going to call it quits for my session today. I'll build on this in the future where I'm going to ask her to stand still longer and longer. Um, and eventually my goal would be that she could stand still for 10, 20 minutes while I'm tacking her up or brushing her um, or hanging out with some of my friends. So if you liked this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.